Triumph is um, it's it's almost like a union of people kind of with the same skill set that uh, that such that seek to have a better display of, uh, of whatever they put out instead of having a competition against each other. People are getting to know that um, Ugandans can do really good work. Uh, and they've, also, they've started from here, some of us have started from here, and we do this work as most people never thought Ugandans could do. The DGS Fest this year, I expect uh, I expect a double of whatever happened last year. I expect more people coming in to learn about art more, because last year we got a lot of people surprised, and now they are going to come with the motive of learning even more. When I was in my senior six, I never believed that my art would take me anywhere. Because I, I always talked to my teachers, and my teachers were also down to the traditional arts. They were down to selling paintings and all. But getting out and going to university and seeing how the technology is also going with, uh, with the art industry, you find an artist who is not just uh, a traditional artist. They code, they do gaming, they do animation, and that is that is brilliant. It's good to know that it's growing that way, so we can have more more different people like programmers coming in to help. So the digital world of art in the next ten years is going to be very, very big. We've also had sponsors coming in to help with this and that's a good sign. The creative industry in Uganda, the more we go into digital, we tend to lose touch on the traditional side. And that's, that worries me because it's like 3D and 2D. Before you master 3D, you have to have a good idea of how 2D is. So it's, the transition into digital, the traditional bit is crucial. And I feel like most people skip it. Uh, when they go to do graphics design, advertising and all that, they skip on traditional, traditional ways, you know, they don't, uh, they, they don't work on their drawing skills, which is like the only tool for your mind to actually output something. You might find software that are amazing, but traditional will always be. The tribe Uganda, you could, uh, we could make a bigger guild that connects with uh, Kenyan artists, Tanzania, all across Africa, I've seen Nigerians do some good work. And those connections, uh, and collaborations, and having maybe tribe or the Digi Art Fest move into the different parts of the world. Maybe Mombasa, Kenya, maybe uh, Niger, no, sorry, Nigeria or something. And that, that's, that could be the only way. Artists have to put in their efforts to collaborate across borders. First of all, the only advice here is don't look at money. Look at the skill. Uh, sell the skill. Fight for the skill. What you're fighting for is success. In success comes everything. You're going to get wealthy when you know that the work you're, you're putting out there is the best. You're going to work on big projects. You're going to travel to different areas. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to be in apprenticeships. You're going to be offered internships, different, different places. So that's the best thing, invest in your skill, work hard.